another video at the storage unit. It's actually a couple days later. We only have this much to go through. And then this all right here is the only trash we have, which isn't too terribly bad. We've had ones that are way worse than that. So we're going to go ahead. We're not going to waste any time whatsoever. We're going to start our way back here, work our way forward. If you have noticed in the first couple, we found some good baseball cards. Actually, the best one was your, what's that guy's name? Sebastian. Sebastian card. She actually looked it up. It was worth 60 bucks. We'll flash up a, uh, a comp on it. So let's see what we got in here today. There has been a lot of... Phone, in there? phone cases. No, there's remember there's like tons of phone cases. Oh yeah. It's almost like they might Ooh, have that might oh that fit my old phone. Fit your old phone. It's almost like they were at a um Oh look at that. Huh. Any jury? Any jury? Yeah, no jury. We did find a lot of jury though, didn't we? Yeah. Hmm. A little little basket. Nothing too much in here. Kind of like a, some hair. I've got a couple of these already. That's a um, medical. medical bracelet. Yeah, it tells you actually like what's your, here's some jewelry right there. I'm not thinking that's 14 karat gold or anything, but still some jewelry, what's in this thing? Okay, there you go. Here's some jewelry. It's a mood ring. It's a mood ring. Let's see what type of mood I'm in. Really good, really. Look at that. 50 cent piece. So we'll go through this better. We have found um, so far no gold, but we have found a lot of sterling silver, right? Mm -hmm. So these, these all might be actually sterling silver. Oh, it's right there. Yep, Italy 925. Nice, that must match the necklace. Yep, so we got two necklaces right there that are 925. And on our whatnot show, they go for like $30 a piece. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. This must have been maybe like a bathroom. Or another chain. It's like gold. Uh, I don't think so. It's very, if you feel it, you're not going to say it's gold. Does it say 925? Yeah, I think it does. I think ah, that's silver. Nice. You got that one there. Yeah, there's tons of little gold, like silver pieces in here. Oh yeah, we'll keep all of these and go through it yeah. even more. There's like little earrings. Little in earrings in here. Sometimes those can be. Um, we did find actually a whole bunch of Walmart pins, and you wouldn't believe that some Walmart pins go from like really good money. Mm -hmm. They really do. There's some of them that go for like as high as like a hundred dollars for a Walmart pin. Obviously, that's a life alert. Um, what else we got here? We haven't found a whole bunch of, uh, that's another life alert button. We have not found a whole bunch of personal items though. Any personal items that we do find though, we give back to the managers here. The rest of this is gonna be closed. Other than this, what is this? Medical stuff, medical paperwork. That all gets given back. What's in this guy right here? It's like more phone cases. More phone cases. Huh. All right. What is that? That's a uh, Apple Watch, isn't it? Men's Band. Apple Watch? Mm-hmm. Band? That's not bad. And this looks just like a whole bunch of makeup. I'm not seeing any jewelry in there. There's a locket. This thing is heavy. How you open it? Oh, it's a slide. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty nice. Feel how heavy that is. That is heavy. That's got some weight to it. All right, we're gonna go through this box a little bit better on, a little bit better, but the most things that we're gonna find most likely is gonna be like little pieces of silver or something. Um, but that's, that's not too bad right there. All right, getting in here real quick, Kayla did go through that container a little bit better and found some really cool stuff. This is just a regular bracelet. I think it's probably gonna go for a couple bucks in her and whatnot. But this one right here, is sterling silver which sterling silver on her whatnot shows always do very very well bracelets rings necklaces you name it that stuff goes for good um this right here is a cool little ring stainless steel but also be in her whatnot show but this back here will not this is going to be 18 karat gold we usually don't find 18 karat gold we usually find what like 10 karat 12 karat I don't think we've ever actually found 18 karat the easiest way that we sell this is on ebay as scrap we weigh it 
and then after we weigh it we put it up for auction for like one or three days usually one day and we started off at a dollar and we go ahead and just run the auction on ebay and we usually get very close to spot price for gold i'll pop out all of these little um there's actually there's some of them are missing but i'll pop out some of those little gems in there and then i just weigh this and this is actually fairly heavy for the its size so that's not too bad this little piece right here could go probably like 50 to 70 bucks i thought that's a cocaine oh jeez. <laughs> i was like really rip. rip we're gonna have to call the popo -po -po. We got a box of cocaine. Um, we have found a kitchen. That was one thing also that you said the other day that we never found with any type of pots and pans. Just take a peek at the bowl real quick, see what we're working with. It's a soup bowl. It's a soup bowl. That's Mulberry? A nice soup bowl. That's a nice one. Soup bowl. Mulberry soup. Um, just pots and pans. Pots not, and pans. Not, too, not too good. We've also found a ton of clothes. And if you haven't watched the other ones, we are doing a yard sale at our church. This is a whole bunch of sheets. Oh, sheets. Tons of sheets. And we have found a ton of linens in here and we're donating as much as we can. These are bras and they're brand new. Oh. We actually sell a lot of that stuff. That stuff sells really well on eBay, doesn't it? Yeah. Because bras nowadays are like super, there's like a million of them in here. Well, let's not. Use the... Nah, it's just a little poker. I don't, no. I don't know what's going on here. Somebody's come out and you got a boop, boop. Yeah, that's all that is. It is like... Clothes. A ton of... And they've got the... Got the tags, tags on them. Yeah, it's at least oh, one of like them. Oh, that's like a bathing suit. Oh, oh it's okay. a bathing suit. Brand new bathing suit. Not bad. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Some of the clothes have been decent, but most of it's just been like mall brand stuff. Mm -hmm. Which isn't bad. Again, a lot of this is going to the yard sale at the church. So mm -hmm. we've just been transporting that stuff out there every Sunday. For computers. Computers? Again, I'm taking Spanish. And the electronics? I think That's a small computer. Yeah, I think it's What if a, that's like a vintage Apple computer? I think it's a Dell. It's not even a computer, I don't think. It's just a big speaker. Like a very, this unit also has been the cleanest unit. Oh, I got a tail here. Um, I don't see the brand on this. Is this like a no brand? New multi Z. That's weird. Usually anything that has this type of attachment is pretty good. That's the attachment where you would do like the, um, the volume. volume. Yeah. And, and the base. I don't know. It doesn't have a brand on it, so I'm thinking that it's not too terribly good, but we'll, uh, we'll look it up for sure. It's a subwoofer. That is actually a Logitech subwoofer. We actually found the other speakers on another video. It goes for about $30 used. Too much going on with this one. This is the dirtiest bag we found yet, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The crazy thing is, is that every puzzle box that we found in here doesn't have puzzles. Doesn't have a puzzle on it. I'll tell you right now, that ain't a puzzle. That sounds like a sewing kit. I opened it upside down. Um, batteries. They're pretty nice. Yeah, I think this just came out of somebody's like junk drawer type of thing. Hmm. Anything as of yet? Let's try this. Legos. Like, yeah, Legos. Are they real Legos? Yeah, Lego my ego. No, Maxes. Max. They're not even Legos. Yeah. Max build more. Hmm. Mm. No Lego. Again, if we can donate it, we'll donate it to the yeah. church. 
Yeah. We actually sold one of these before, remember? Oh, yeah. It was brand new, though. They're like the little Boston and New York. Um, checkers. Checkers, yeah. Jenga. Jenga's actually pretty fun. That's fun. Didn't I beat you at Jenga one time? On the cruise ship, yep. The cruise ship, yep. That's because the cruise ship, it was, there was waves and there stuff. There was waves? <laughs> really? That sounds like Christmas. That sounds like Christmas. Jingle bells. I hear, no, not Christmas. No, it's a pot. It's a pot. That's actually like a, um, almost like a Magna, Magna light. It was a toaster making that noise. There are, there are jingle bells. bells. Jingle bells, a toaster. And a nice butterfly. It's actually a nice butterfly. Pretty nice. A Musa. Huh. That's actually a, uh, like a commercial type of pan. Some of those can be worth a lot of money. We'll put that to the side and look it up. Hey, look, another puzzle. But it doesn't have a puzzle in it. And everything has been taped here. Like, a lot. That would be some kitchen stuff. These are actually pretty nice, depending on the Myrtle, Myrtle Beach. Beach. And some corks. Halls, that's what it feels like. More halls. All right. Huh. Xbox. Does it say Papa? Ropa? Ropa? I think it means bedroom. Clothes, yep. Tons of clothes again. Tons and tons. We'll go through it, see what we can, you Keep know. And donate. Yep, donate and. We are running through these boxes. Rolling through them. It's a sewing marbles. kit? Marbles? Did you lose your marbles? Oh, always. Years ago I lost them. <laughs> There's some sort of like little syringe thing in there. Here's a hair bow. And a ton of socks. That's like brand new. Yeah, the little hair bow. Mm-hmm. And then tons and tons of socks in here. There's more socks. And more socks. People are probably cringing. Put some gloves on. You're just digging your hand in somebody else's sock drawer here. Right? You just don't know what's at the bottom of that. I think at the bottom of that, there's more socks. Hey, look, these little things are great. Oh, yeah. Look, the, this one, you have this one at the house. Oh, yeah. That's a cool little fan. It's a good office fan. It is a good office fan. I'm guessing that means kitchen. Don't you agree? Mm. Yep. Kitchen. Kitchen. And Vera Bradley. Oh, that's really good print. That's a really good print, isn't it? Yeah. You ever seen a Vera Bradley like that before? Huh. It's like a um, like a multicolored little lunchbox. Super clean too. Everything in here has been like the cleanest of the clean. Here, let me hold it. Look at that. Oh wow. That's pretty nice. Yeah. We got some tin foil, some other cups. I was hoping there would be some like some decent knives in here. I'm not seeing that there's gonna be. Um, there is a knife block down there. Just pull one of the knives out. That looks like a. Uh, I would say lo lower than that. So, like a non name brand or like a Faber or whatever they're called. Yep. Uh, Faberware. You can tell by the handle of them. So, not too wonderful there. Next box. Think baby. Think like a baby. Oh. It's open. There's a glue gun in here. Do you want a glue gun? I have a glue gun. Oh, you found it? Mm-hmm. Some surge protectors down here. Oh, that's actually nice. You can use that. This is uh, some of that's their name, I think. There's a little purse. You want to look in that thing? There's nothing in there. Nothing in it? Mm -hmm. What's in here? It's a very fancy wine cork thing. Very, very fancy. Super fancy. Got some butterflies. Jelly bean. Another knife. That's something. Jelly bean, this thing? Yeah. 
Jelly bean. Huh. All right. I'll go through those boxes a little bit better. Looks like the bathroom box. Now, the only thing about bathroom boxes is sometimes there's jewelry in it. This is like moist in here. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Something like busted. What's that? Control camera. What you got going on in here? That's a control to like a bed, maybe. Some of these can be worth some decent money. We'll actually look that up. It's a brand new Nike. Nike. Yeah. Huh. And again, anything. It's good donatable stuff for yeah. sure. Anything we can donate, we've been donating. This is this is a whole bunch of like liquid. Hey, Betty Boop. Betty Boop, what are you doing? Hmm. That's a lot of hand sanitizer. Yep, that's exactly what all that is. It's like a bunch of hand sanitizer. Moving on, check these out. Bear Paw Boots. Now, Bear Paw is not like a super good brand or anything like that, but I mean, at a yard sale, that's probably like five bucks, six bucks. Yeah. Look online to see how much they go for. I don't think that they're that expensive, but they're in really good condition. And the, where are those? Mark and Madden. They're like Uggs. Skechers. Oh, they're Skechers? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Skechers. They've been out doing sketchy stuff. So, moving on. Not so much more to one go. Last I think box. Just this one last box. The Hala Electric. Is this the switch? Is this all of the, the, electronics. All the electronics that we've been looking for in this entire... Oh, the whole thing was worth it. We just found a Stanley mug. I heard these go for a million dollars nowadays, <laughs> right? This is the original Stanley mug. Oh, come on. That right there is worth all the money and all the time that we've gone into this is we got a Stanley mug and a pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. I got you a rice, rice cooker. That's actually the aromas I think are the good ones. Huh. It's in good condition. It's a little dirty. But uh, the one I bought you, I, it's expensive, so that might be like 20 or 30 bucks. But good, also, yard sale stuff. So that's all we got here. I mean, as you can tell, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, on these videos, you only see us going through the boxes, and then we go back through the boxes and make sure we didn't miss anything small. But just in this little bit, it only took us a couple minutes to go through the rest of this stuff. We found probably $100, $200 worth of stuff. I would think when it comes to like the switch and the and, jewelry and the jewelry, the silver and this right here, we'll put it up on auction. It might go four five, six million bucks. We don't know. I'll tell you that. But I do tell you this. Thank you for everybody for watching. Remember, we use gyro pack 10 percent off. If you uh, have our link down below, it's only your first order, though. But then if you use our code, we do appreciate because it is an affiliate link and they have the cheapest. And I think one of the best poly mm -hmm. mallets because they are the cheapest. We do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, not subscribe, subscribe, comment down below, like the video. You know, I will always get you on the next